News 46 is brought to you by... Do you need dental care but don't know where to turn? Have you had a bad experience at the dentist? At Desert View Dental, you can count on affordable, friendly care. I was at a meeting eating lunch and my front veneer broke off. Dr. Moritz at Desert View Dental helped me immediately. I'm 11 years old and it was my first time at the dentist. Dr. Aaron was so nice and I didn't need any fillings. From general dentistry to dental implants or full mouth reconstruction, at Desert View Dental, we do it all. 727-1366. Um, yeah, I've been a part of the ASA Association out here ran by Ken Kazi for the last five years, that he, ASA, that he's been running out here for the last five years. And uh, I went to sign up this year, um, attended all of Ken's meetings, and uh, informed him at the last meeting on February 18th that our sponsor check for my co-ed team was coming out of Vegas, and um, I could go into Vegas and get that. He said, no problem, have it just mailed in. And I also informed him about my, co or my men's team uh, sponsorship, and told him that I'd have that on Thursday or Friday. He said it wouldn't be a problem, just give him a call. So Friday came at 11 o'clock, I called and told him that I had my sponsorship, when can I meet? And he basically told me I was one day late and I couldn't play, and that I was too late and we just couldn't play. So now I have 30 people between my co-ed team and my men's team that are upset and wondering why one day late is such a big deal and why we can't play when I have attended all the meetings, turned in my rosters, scheduled practice times with Ken Kazi up at the park when he knew we were playing. And, the, and just because you're one day late, how do you really feel about this? Um, it's really saddening to me. Um, you know, I've supported Ken for the last five years in his league. Um, I, the sponsorship is $350 and for the last two years now, my men's team has sponsored themselves. So that's each guy giving like $25 out of their own pocket just to play softball. You know, in these tough times, that's kind of hard. It's hard to find a sponsorship, and we understand that. Some guys on my team, you know, they just want to play so bad that they're willing to, you know, work an extra hour or two at work to, to get the money to play. And, and it's just saddening. We got a lot of upset people on my teams right now, and I just don't understand why, because I was one day late when I informed them that we can't play. And this is just your team, not the ASA, any, any, uh, any other team through the ASA? No, um, this is only my team is being banned um, from the league right now because I was one day late. I'm not sure if there was other teams or anything else that's what's going on with the other teams. I just know that this is what Ken has told me is that I was one day late and I couldn't play. The schedules were made up and I couldn't play. Do you think there's something else behind this? Um, you know, I technically I do. You know, I, I'm not quite sure what it is. I have my suspicions of what it is. But um, like I said, I've supported Ken for five years in his league. I have a co-ed team and a men's team for the last three years. And I just don't know why we've won his league um, the last two years. So I'm just not sure why I'm getting hated on. I went to another uh, guy to see about trying in a different league. I'm not sure if that's why or not. Have you contacted the town board members about this? I have contacted all of the town board members and they have contacted the town manager and they basically told me that they cannot help. Um, they would be there for any support that I would need and, and to use their names and any kind of reference that I need. But basically that their hands are tied because Ken runs his own league out here. The town has nothing to do with it. And I contacted the ASA president, Tony, and he also said that same thing, that Ken runs his own Sorry. Ken runs his own league up here and he is no one can say, you know, that he has to let us play. So basically, I'm just want to get my story out here and let you guys know, you know, I don't think this is right. One day late and I'm trying to represent 30 people here that just want to play softball and have fun. We go up there for two hours a night, play. It costs $30 uh, a night for us to play as a team.